Once the host of the Formula One Grand Prix in the early 1920s, the steep 60-degree banks of the Terramar Sichez in Spain offers a challenge to drivers not faced since its closing in 1936. That is, until now. Professional race car drivers Miguel Molina and Carlos Sanz ventured to Terramar to see who could break the 90-year-old fastest lap record of 45.8 seconds set by Count Louis Zborowski in 1923. Sanz and Molina's success hinged on how they were able to handle the turns, which was dependent on the static friction their tires provided as they rounded the track. A centripetal force steers the car as it rounds the curve by pushing it towards the center of the radius of the curve. Three forces are present when banking curves, normal force, gravity, and friction force. The forces in the y direction must balance, and the excess force in the x direction is the required centripetal force. With a little algebra, this becomes, this maximum speed of the car is dependent on the radius of the curve, the banked turn angle, and the tire's coefficient of static friction. Despite the rough terrain and many challenges, Sands made history and set the new lap record at 42.6 seconds with a blazing average speed of 156 kilometers per hour.